Hey everyone, uh, this is Mwesuka Mgwa Bosco, the Head Teacher Wisdom Center, Karumuna, Nati Sivu Gesera. Uh, yes, uh, Zero Show came back as your science teacher. So, uh, Primary 6, we've been looking at uh, different topics last time and now we want to compare, to compare them for this time. So, last time we looked at uh, plants, okay, and then we also went look, we are looking at animals. So, looking at those two topics, plants and animals, so this time we have again, I'm again back that uh, we we'll see how we can uh, look at those two, okay? The way they relate, the way they can uh, survive in the environment. Because it's very important after looking at each and then we see how uh, they live in the environment uh, supporting each other. Simply uh, that brings us a topic today that is uh, about uh, interdependence. So today we are going to look at interdependence to see how plants uh, depend on animals and then how animals depend on, on, on plants. So we shall move ahead and even again see how do plants depend on plants. Then how do animals depend on animals. So we find it's a kind of a relationship in the environment whereby you live because I live. So that's very important. Like you are there, that's why I'm here. If not there, I want to be uh, providing these lessons to you. So since you are there, it's why I'm here. So we also depend on each other in that way. So for this case, I just start uh, looking at our activities today. So uh, having a new topic as interdependence, we want to simply understand what does this interdependence mean? Simply uh, this refers to the way how living things uh, depend on each other for survival. Okay? Can look at this interdependence. Uh, we are saying is simply the way, okay? Is the way how living things uh, depend on each other for survival. Meaning, if you are not there, they won't be there. So your living is also their living. Uh, the way how. Uh, Living things depend, yes, depend on each other. Okay? Uh, for survival. Yeah, simply this brings us a clear understanding. Uh, how animals, how plants, okay, and all living things in the environment, how do they live? How, how, how would they support each other in that way? Yes, so simply interdependence, we look at uh, the way how uh, the organism and the environment can survive. Uh, in this way, we can look at uh, the main components of the environment. We find that, uh, uh, yes, how they are living, okay? Because the other ones are living. Talk about uh, plants, as we, talk, as we began saying that we looked at the plants last time, and then we also have animals. If we only have plants and have no animals, it would be hard for, uh, let's say, for plants to survive in the environment. Likewise to animals. If you only have animals in the environment without plants, it would be hard for animals to survive. That means only, only shall only have the carnivorous animals. The herbivores won't be surviving. The rodents won't be surviving. That's why we need all the components. Okay? Then we shall go to the, 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 the bacteria. The, our, the composers, they also be living because uh, the animals and the plants are living. So we can, if we want to understand this, to look at the way animals depend on each other, sorry, living things depend on each other, we have to look at it in these ways. Let us uh, compare them in the following ways. Uh, we shall look at uh, comparing, anim comparing living things, okay? Let's look at a comparison, comparing living things. Comparing living things. Okay. Okay. Uh, for interdependence or for survival. Okay. Simply. So we are going to compare this in terms of survival. Majorly, uh, look at. Uh, we shall look at uh, uh, animals. Shall we compare animals. Okay. We shall look at animals uh, to plants. Okay. Then, uh, okay, we can call this A, 
and then b shall look at uh, uh, okay then plants to animals okay one say how do these depend on each other shall we say how do animals depend on plants and then how do plants depend on animals so we can say animals to so plants are plants to animals and then uh, we shall have a uh, part C still we can say uh, uh, plant animals to animals animals to animals okay then uh, uh, part D we shall look at uh, plants to plants how do plants depend on each other yes uh, plants to plants yeah this is very important in the environment you find that uh, majorly uh, looking at these major components of the environment uh, which is of the living environment where you have the plants and and, and animals you find that uh, they live because others are also living so uh, looking at uh, the first component which is which is animals comparing to plants so you can see how do animals I say animals to now now start to go to our part a animals okay animals depend on plants <laughs> yes uh, so simply we can be asked how do animals depend on plants yes so because we began looking at uh, uh, interdependence we say that uh, is the way how living depend on each other for survival so uh if you uh, if you have animals and plants animals depend on plants okay yes when talk of animals to bring the sense of animals in the, the wider range talk of, uh, of of human beings okay they're also animals okay then humans and other humans so are uh, looking at uh, the humans here majorly we need the food from plants okay so you can simply say animals depend on plants for food animals depend on plants uh, for food okay yeah as simple as that you find that uh, uh, once plants are there you'll be able to survive you'll use them for food okay that's why uh, we, we majorly look at look at uh, the poor vegetarians you find you can know you don't majorly only depend on animals but I will, we find that a big kind of of conception is consumption is, is part of plants so uh, animals depend on plants for food you get food the food we get good from plants okay so animals still can depend okay on plants for a lot of things yes uh, when you go to still look at plants animals need oxygen that's for respiration so we can simply say animals depend on plants for uh, respiration they need oxygen from plants uh, okay animals okay uh, get oxygen from plants get oxygen okay uh, from plants for for respiration for respiration okay yes we need we need oxygen for breathing okay uh, yes and last time we defined this term respiration uh we talked of um, uh, the process by which uh, uh uh one talked of like uh, living things okay uh let's say uh let's say we find that within simple respiration you find that uh, food is burnt and the body trees to release uh energy so somebody can simply say the process by which food is burnt in the body uh to release energy is burnt using oxygen so in that process of respiration we need oxygen for that process to uh be carried out okay that is a uh, very support good support from plants so without plants we can't get fresh air like oxygen uh that's good and like, this can push us to the next point looking at still animals so animals depending on plants there's a lot of things look at that okay yes uh how, when it is like weather they will need to go under sheds 
So looking at that, they will be depending on plants. Even human beings, if it's sunny, okay, you can easily go and uh, stay under shades. So you'll be getting hope from plants. So you can simply see animals get shade from plants during sunny weather. Uh, animals get shade from plants. From plants uh, uh, during sunny weather, or it can be drought, okay? We can say during sunny uh, weather, okay? Yes, plants will, plants will be at least we're giving a support to animals. So, this, this is very important to look at at home. That's why you can have enough plant, uh, plants around you. You, you. If you don't have plants within your compound, it will be very hot uh, and you have nowhere to, to stay. In case you want to move out of the structure of the houses, you can easily go under the sheds. Uh, this is very good. We can see animals, the non-humans and humans going for sheds. Yes, so this can push us to the second part. That is part B. Part B, uh, we want to look at uh, plants to animals. So since you have seen animals depending on the plants, so how do plants, how do animals, so how do plants also depend on animals? within the environment. So we can have part B, okay, as plants depend on animals. Plants depend on animals. Yeah. We also have actually a number of ways how plants depend on animals. And uh, specifically look at uh, during pollination, uh, yes, animals will be depending, uh, plants will be depending on animals. I look at uh, in during photosynthesis, we need carbon dioxide, still they will be depending, okay, uh, on animals. Yes, so we can look at, uh, we can look at them. Yes, so uh, first we can, foremost we can say that the plants depend on animals, okay, uh, yes, uh, or get carbon dioxide, okay, for photosynthesis to take place. Plants get <clears throat> dioxide from animals. Okay. Synthesis to take place. Okay? Yeah, so this simply we defined last time uh, this term photosynthesis. We say this is uh, the process by which green plants uh, make their own food. Uh, that's called the starch. Uh, still, uh, that plants, okay, they still need more uh, from animals. For your plants to grow well, you need manure. So the leaves from plants are very important. Okay? So, uh, so, uh, so manure, like this kind of uh, 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 farmyard manure from animals. Yes, so manure from animals is very important for plants. So you can see, plants need, plants need manure. Okay? Yes, so we use manure from, we get manure from, uh, from, from animal support plants. Okay, okay, uh, plants get manure from animals, from animals. So this manure is very important, okay, because it improves on soil fertility, which will uh, also make uh, your plants healthy. Uh, and then, <coughs> Uh, when you still look at plants, you can see that uh, majorly we can see plants are depending, okay, on animals. So in this case, still we can see during pollination. What happens? Plants will need, okay, will need animals like uh, talk of bees that to help in pollination. So this is very important. So plants depend on animals for pollination. Plants uh, depend on animals for pollination. OK? 
Okay? Yes, so uh, last time we looked at pollination, we simply say that this is a transfer, pollination is a transfer of pollen grains uh, from the anther to the stigma of a flower. Simply that. So for that to take place, it, help, uh, it will help our plants to actually do for to have fertilization, which uh, will, will end up leading to uh, reproduction in, uh, in plants, okay? which is sexual reproduction. So if you don't have that, then it will be hard for plants, those are flowering plants, to reproduce. So for them to produce such plants, like flowering plants to produce, we shall need uh, this to happen, we need pollination, which is, will be helped or carried out by, by animals like insects, which are bees. Bees, mouth, butterflies, yes, which are lead like the sunbirds, help in pollination. This is very important to note. So animals, okay, are very important to this so that they are supporting plants. And then uh, from there we can look at uh, uh, part C. So also one C. How can animals depend to animals or depend on animals? So you can look at part C. Animals depending on animals. Animals depend on animals. So, uh, as we move together, you can see that we have seen the support from plants to animals and the support from animals to plants. But for this case, we can see that animals themselves can also depend on other animals. Maybe you can find that smaller animals can depend on other bigger animals. Find that. Uh, you can find the carnivorous animals can depend on the prey for food. So that is also interdependence within the environment. So for this, uh, we can uh, look at this. You can see here are uh, carnivorous animals, okay? Uh, or some animals, some animals depend on others for food. Some animals depend on others uh, for food. Uh, this majorly happens, okay, uh, in case uh, the carnivorous animals, okay, like the, the lions, the dogs, so they can hunt other small animals to get their food, to get their prey. So, any first animal can depend on animals for food. Uh, then, since we have said some animals, you can also bring the idea of like the babies. Babies can depend on the mothers for breastfeeding. That's all. They're depending on other animals for food. And then, the next point, that you can look at this still, animals need protection. Okay? So, you can find that some animals depend on others for protection. That's why at home you have dogs. Okay, uh, which can easily alert you when uh, strangers come at home or when they are thieves. Um, then also look at babies. Okay, babies depend on their mothers, their fathers for protection. Yes, if a baby is there and then the mother is there, you can't just touch the baby when the mother or the father is there. Then they come to the other side of, of uh, non humans. Talk a, talk a lot about chickens, a uh, lot about cat keeping, a lot about goat keeping, all those animals, the young ones they get protection from the adult ones. So you can't easily temper with the young animals when, they are, they are, when the adults are there. They can, you can, because they have to get support from them, their protection. Uh, so uh, you can say, simply say that uh, animals, animals get protection from other animals. Uh, animals get protection. from other animals. Okay? Yes. Uh, another part which you can look at also, look at uh, in the terms of multiplying, increasing in number, or reproduction, as last time we looked at that. We said that uh, look at, uh, and like those of non humans and humans. So we, we need all, they depend on each other. So checking on uh, the non humans, you can simply say, uh, some animals depend on others for mates or for reproduction, okay? So animals uh, <laughs> depend, uh, depend on each other. Uh, you can say for reproduction, okay? 
Yes. Okay, oh, one can simply say for males in case of uh, non humans. Then here we can also uh, look at uh, another part. Talk about transport. Yes, some animals are uh, helpers in transport, okay, like the donkeys. Yes, uh, the, the babies are carried by the mother, okay. Yes, so uh, we can talk of different animals. Those talk of the, the marsupials or the, the poached mammals which carry the young on the porch. That is all transport. So you can say animals depend on other animals for transport. Uh, oh, so you can say some animals, or not all, some animals, some animals depend uh, on other animals. Yes, on other animals for protection. Uh, sorry, for transport. For transport. Okay. Yes. So looking at this, this uh, gives us a very understanding that animals can be there because other animals are there. They depend on each other purposely for like in, in the case of transport, you can carry the young one from one place to another. You can use the donkeys and move from one place to another and other animals. Uh, then you can come to the last part of this uh, dependence, dependence. You come to uh, part D. Okay, part D we want to look at uh, uh, plants depending uh, on plants. So how do plants live when others are living? So this simply refers to interdependence also in plants. Uh, so plants can live, let us say, look at an example. Okay, so plants depend on plants. Okay. Yes. So looking at this, giving examples, look at uh, plants with weak stems. We will depend on those plants with the strong stems. Okay. Yes, that is simply interdependence. So how do plants depend on each other? Yes. Looking at those plants of uh, weak stems, uh, the which have to climb, which can also be called a climbing uh, with climbing stems. They need support. Okay. Talk about uh, those bits. Um, you see when they, which, which you call which you talk of staking uh, uh, of growing crops uh, by use of supporting sticks okay yes that's called staking in, in farming so if you grow your crops like beans and put your sticks to support your plants like beans that one will simply be interdependence okay so we can simply say plants with weak stems depend on others or climb other plants okay plants with weak stems. Weak stems. Climb uh, those, climb those of strong stems for support. Climb those of strong stems for support. Stems for support. Okay, yeah, simply this shows interdependence, meaning if those stems, plants with stronger stems not there, then it will, this or not, will just keep creeping on the ground, so they can't now easily produce properly, they can't yield, okay? So still, looking at plants, depending on each other, uh, it's very important, yes, talk about uh, manure, still, we can get to manure from plants, so when you plant, again, that will easily help you, you let's say your, your 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 plans to go healthy in terms of acquiring green manure so we can still get mulches and cover our our, our gardens okay mulch our gardens in the case of, of different plants so that is all support from plants can say uh simply uh within the plants can say plants can get manure from other plants okay so plants can use as manure Plants, let's say, provide green manure. Okay? Green manure. Yes. So this is simply, a yes, another of interdependence. Another we've talked about mulches. Uh, mulches can be used, okay, in, 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 in gardens. That's also 
their dependence. Okay? Uh, how do plants depend on other plants? You can say a uh, use of mulches. Use of mulches. So uh, mulches, these are majorly can be, a, let's say, kind of a dry, cut grass or dry grass that can be used to cover the soil in terms of, of let's say, agriculture. If you, you, let's say you have banana plantation, you have, uh, um, let's say, pineapple plantations, you need tomato plantation, you need to cover the ground. You have to mulch. So that is a way of interdependence. So you can simply see that the plants in this case are depending on other plants for survival. So this gives us a clear view of interdependence. Yes. So for this time, we have covered actually a lot. We have looked at uh, interdependence. We simply say that interdependence is the way how living things depend on each other in the environment. And then we saw the other side also looking at uh, the groups of interdependence. Plants depending on plants. Okay, animals depending on other animals, like carnivorous animals and the prey, and then, so from this, from this time, we can easily answer different questions. So we can be asked, yes, ways how animals depend on each other. Uh, can be left with one question here, which you will answer, okay? Uh, they can ask you, they can ask you, uh, what difference between the way animals and plants get food? So you'll check that uh, animals uh, depend on plant food made by plants while plants make their own food. That's a very common question in exams. They can ask you, what's the difference between the way animals and plants get their food? So simply say, uh, animal, plants make their own food while animals depend on manufactured food or food made by plants. So uh, let me leave this number with you. What's the difference? What is the difference? Between the way plants, <laughs> between way plants and animals get their food. It's a very interesting question that uh, you have to look at, okay? Yes, so this one will push us to still more uh, features of animals depending on animals, okay, or plants depending on plants, and then plants depending on animals, okay? And then animals depending on plants. So this is a good summary, you can check on this. So you'll be asked, what is the difference between the way plants, the plants and animals get food? So check on that, that will help you. So for this, we come to the end of our lesson today. And uh, we ask you, please always uh, check, okay, uh, on the uh, YouTube uh, channels. Or, uh, and then uh, still you can follow us on uh, BTN uh, TV, or is watch BTN TV, we are there for you. And then uh, check, uh, yes, on uh, your BTN website. Then you'll be getting these questions. Still follow us uh, on our Wisdom Center website. You get these questions. We provide it for you very many uh, platforms for getting us. Check still WhatsApp groups. You'll be having different activities for you to go through your work. Please remember, we are in this time when, not, when you are not studying, you are at home, not come to school. But studying does not mean going to school. Okay? Studying simply means once you get, get ready, getting ready for the lesson. So that's when you'll be able to study. So from home, you can access lessons. We are there, we are here for you, providing you lessons. And then uh, make sure you observe uh, the measures put by the government in curbing or controlling the, the, the COVID-19 pandemic because uh, coronavirus is real. So you have to keep a distance, uh, avoid moving up, out and there. So keep around, keep at home, stay home for safety. Wash your hands whenever, yes, you come into contact so of any surface so before transferring your hands onto eyes and faces the mouth so make sure your hands are properly washed with the soap and water and then if you don't if you can also access uh, sanitizer yes that's very important uh, sanitize your hands every time this will keep yourself safe and keep your neighbor safe so we keep 
uh, providing lessons that we meet next time when you're safe. Stay well.